All right, welcome back to the channel. So I just want to give Burn Frogs a try again. As you know, we did a quickie like a couple of weeks ago, I think, and it was really, really fast. And I was like, you know what? I just kind of want to play this deck one more time. I am very interested in it as a concept. It's very fun to play. I mean, I think all frog decks are fun to play personally. And because I main deck like the Hero Frog deck, I figure why not just try something that is not so standard, at least nowadays. So yeah, we're taking Ron X Brew from earlier this year. I believe he got like third place at an RBET with this deck or something very similar. I know he was playing Lava Golem and Cylinder back then. Uh, but yeah, I think that this deck is pretty competitive. I mean, it is a frog deck at the end of the day, and I'm pretty sure all of them are competitive to a degree. Like the 10 main frogs at the top, they just kind of make the deck automatically S tier. It's really hard to lower the power level of a deck with those cards in it. Substitute is absolutely unhinged. One of Konami's biggest mistakes for sure. So yeah, anyway, let's get into a duel. A few moments later. All right, we lost the die roll. Let's see what we're up against. Okay, our hand is not bad, but it's very, very reliant on Tree Bar Frog, which... And my opponent's also playing frogs. Okay. Now, because they did that, I am a little scared to set my own Tree Bar Frog because I don't want it to get Caius. And I pretty much lose. So I think I'm just going to pass like this. Yeah, we're just going to pass. I could set tree board to Econ, but I don't want to waste the Econ on a Caius just to take it. Yep. So we're definitely going to take a thousand this turn. Um, and then they have to commit a card to the field. Which is not the worst. Puts out a dupe frog. Okay. Uh, I think... I think I should summon Treeborn and kill this dupe frog. We both die and then they can search, which doesn't really matter here, I feel like. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's see, normal summon. Alright, let's crash out. Yep. Okay, so we got two swap frogs in hand. I'm just going to pass like this. Yeah, so they have a back row, which is so awkward. Can't bring back Treeborn Frog. So they can summon Swap Frog and attack me, but like, sure. I'm going for Dastalos. Okay, Substitute. I assume they just drew that, otherwise last turn they would have used it. A Dupe Frog in defense. That does not seem good at all. Uh, yeah, I think I want to Ryza that. That seems like a good card to Ryza. So, yeah, we're going to just put this on top. I mean, you might as well Regeki break it. You have to clear the back row eventually. Interesting, they took it. I really wonder what that back row could be. Um, I don't really feel a need to set a back row because if they if they set MST or something like that, I want to keep that dead as long as possible. So, if they would have used Rakaki Break, I would have set Wabaku most likely, but because they didn't use this, I'm wondering if they just set MST and they just have a stuck MST. Now, of course, they can still get key break right now and then bring back Tree More Frog, but then it's like, okay, what are you doing with that? Yeah, drawing Do Frog for turn is not, not it. 
Okay, there's the Regeki Brick. And it is Hero Frog. Okay. So hopefully I don't die this turn. That is the one fear. Not really at 7,000. Um, it would take a lot to kill me, I feel like, but I could take some big damage here. Yeah, Miracle Fusion. Okay. Alright, that's 3,000. That's 4,000. It's a lot of damage. damage miracle fusion is broken okay and there's a dupe frog yep okay so standby phase bring this back i think i want to econ here take this Bring this back. Um, does it matter what position? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think we just go attack that dupe frog and then main phase two tribute for Testalos. See what happens. So much damage oh my god um okay so let's see yeah they get that main phase two hmm i could kai is their tree born i don't really think that does anything yeah i'd rather just do this so summon So, I guess I'll just roll a die. This one. Alright, I take 200. Alright, I think I'm going to Heavy Storm now. Um, I don't really know what their back row is. They already have Tree One Frog face up on the field. So, I just don't want to get MST for game. Okay, yeah. Same thing. I could actually go for Kaya's back-to-back -to, -back to kill him with the Wabaku setup. Such a weird win condition. This is... Yep. No more damage. Uh, let's see. Which one do I go for? I think it's just the Caius play. I think I just go Caius myself. And then do it again next turn that is so weird that that's like what i think my win condition is but i don't want to attack and they possibly have battle fader and all that um yeah i'm actually gonna go for this okay well they didn't even wait to see what i targeted but i was gonna target my Kaius and then set wabaku and it's like you need to specifically draw regeki break in that deck to out that and I wish you the best of luck in doing so. Okay, crows, vanities, fiends. Hmm. What else do we want? So we don't need this. We don't want this. I really don't even care for this. 
Um, the Dirty Wars and Wabakus are good. I like the Turbo Rocket. This deck is so dependent on Tree Frog, though. That, that game really just highlighted that for me. I'll get rid of a... I guess this is just worse. Yeah, they're also going to be putting in Vanity's Fiend, which is, like, pretty scary. So I might want to add some outs... Some more outs to that. Maybe just, like... Hmm... Oh, uh, I think I don't know where Lava Coo. I don't want to overdo it. I mean, I think this is fine. This is fine. Let's go with this. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's well, not bad. I don't know what their hand is, though. That they would just, like, not do anything. Seven cards. What you got? What you got? This is how I started off last game. Just draw a pass. I didn't even have gores or anything. Okay. Standby phase. Main phase. Um... All right, so I think that when I have an open board state like this, I just want to do Substitute. He's not really doing anything, so yeah. Okay. So, okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, I guess I'll just continue on. So, I have swap pro. Yeah, let me do this. Special, Rickler, two Grave, and then if I get Mirror Force here, am I upset? Probably not. I'll take it. Hmm. That makes me wonder. That makes me wonder if they have gores, and I don't want to fuck around and find out, to be honest. Um, main phase two, two hand. And I think we're just gonna pass like this. Yeah. All right, I think they're kind of bricked. They don't have treeborn access, they just forget you breaking the scar soul exchange, which is like really bad, so. Uh yeah, let's go with special summon this thing in defense. And then Hmm. Do I want to dust allos them right now or do I want to summon junk synchron? I actually don't want to use the Junk Synchron because Junk Synchron can be Goyo Garden at any point. So if they do do something crazy, I can Goyo them, which I think is like a big deal. Let's get rid of this card. Hit the Gores. Hit the Caius. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right, if they have Goraz the Shadow Monarch, hmm, we could be in for a world of hurt. So I think I just want to pass on this and uh, yeah. 
They don't have anything. Yeah, I'm just going to pass with this. And next turn, I can start attacking comfortably. I'm playing very patiently right now because I really don't want to attack into a Gores. These decks that don't play Miracle Fusion are way weaker to Gores. Like, it's actually crazy how much weaker this deck is to Gores than a, uh, you know, a regular Hero Frog deck. All right. So they get to see my hand, but I'm gonna be honest, my hand is fucking broken. There's no one card you could take from this hand that really fucks me. So I'm with it, whatever they do. Like ideally they take Caius. I mean, I think that's what they have to take, especially if they have Gores, but like that Junk Synchron is just staring. Yeah, and it doesn't help that they, like, just apparently bricked really hard. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, we're just gonna give it the old one shuffle. Hopefully I draw it again. Thanks to Dueling Book. Um, yeah, I think that this is just, like, the simple play here. Okay, so they're banishing that. Uh, yeah. Attack the token. I guess I'll just form, okay. All right, so here I could, I could do a number of things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to special swap. Uh, special swap, discard, flip flop. Let's see, special swap, discard, flip flop. Bounce, junk sink around to my hand. Normal summon, dupe frog. Don't, does that sound right? Yeah. So, special swap. Um, let's see. Discard this. So, if I... I don't really want flip-flop in this situation. Yeah. Uh, and I think I have another dupe frog in my deck, which... I do not want to draw at any point. I also have a swap. So... Yeah, I'd rather get rid of this, to be honest. I'm not going to do anything with this any, at any point. Um, declare... Two hand. Um, yeah, put this out there. Now the question is, do I need Book of Moon? And I'm kind of feeling like the answer is no. Book, it doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, so they're going to summon something, attack this, attack over this. Am I trying to save my Thestalos is the question. I don't really think so. Hmm. I, do I need to hold this book? That's that's the big question here. I'm not really too threatened. Putting Gore's face down doesn't really help me. Yeah, I'm going to pass here and hopefully don't get royally fucked. Yep, they need another monster for this to be worthwhile. Otherwise, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to get back my flip-flop frog. Yep, so I take 14 here. Uh... Alright, as long as this Junk Synchron play goes through next turn, I'm, I'm Gucci. up uh do i want to bounce my treeborn to hand just to have and i think i do not want to do that actually this dupe frog is also kind of ass 
So I can just yeah, I'm just gonna synchro for make go yo. The question is, do I want to set flip flop right now? What does that do for me? And it makes it where I can drop Vanny's Fiend a little easier. I'll say that. Uh, huh. Set flip flop. They can just attack it. They attack my flip flop. What does that do for them? They're still in like a really shitty spot. I think I can just pass here. Yep, Stratos, this is fine. So they can Miracle here, which I'm okay with, obviously. So they just get Vanity's Fiend. They probably have to Miracle here. They don't know I have Vanity's Fiend, but dear God. Yeah, I was about to say, you just have to do this. This is a really bad Miracle. <laughs> this is a really bad Miracle. Oof. Okay. Um, so I do not bring that back because actually I could. I just fucking could and I could go summon Ryza and book a moon to zero and they're just kind of sick. And do I want to do that or do I want to just, hmm. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go main phase one battle phase. Attack. Okay. Now they could still sneak out of Vanny's Fiend on me, so... Oh, did I do that right? Just to be clear, they know I have it though. Because of that shoot earlier. Yeah. They know I have it. I'm just like one step quicker in my head. Okay. Alright. So, how's this thing work? I've actually never played this card really. Or very seldom have used it. When it's cards to face up, you can turn monsters your opponent controls to an owner's hand. Up to number of face up frogs. That's so broken. Why does that seem so broken? I think I just. Yeah, I'm just gonna rise up there, monster. I just wanna be annoying. So we have to draw a set monster again, uh, which is no bueno. I'm just going to keep the game going the way it is, because if it continues to go like this, I'll win by a landslide. Yep. Uh, let's see. So we can go main phase one, flip. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Tribute for Caius. Alright. GG's. Uh, I'll watch the replay. See what happened. But that was, uh... It's not very hard. This deck feels very fragile, though. I just have fears that I don't normally have while playing it. One being Gores, another one just being... <laughs> he actually knew it was me. You too. All right, let's watch this replay real quick. Oh, I need to do show both. So they opened up Swab Frog and just like a pretty mediocre hand, except until just now, I think they just drew this Miracle Fusion. I think, I'm not sure. So yeah, because I'm not doing anything, their hand doesn't do anything either. And here I had the option of discarding this straight to the graveyard on the end phase or crashing into the Dew Frog. Because he already has access to Dream One Frog and Swap Frog, crashing here doesn't actually do anything. Um, in fact, I think that it's necessary to get this off the field just in case like they decide they want to do block me next turn or something i was just like i don't want to deal with that i'd rather get rid of this now through battle and trading a treeborn frog for it is fine it's just even so having a strategy break set is really causing harm uh they would have been able to do substo combo if they didn't have this set, so it kind of just sucks that they got kind of locked there. And now they take this, but then they're going to do draw phase or deputy break. But then you're in the same position where I don't have a field. So you have to do like weird committal things, which is going to cause them to play Miracle Fusion right now. And they do hit me for a shit ton of damage. But on the following turn, I hit them back for a shit ton of damage. And this is where I realized that like double Caius here actually wins the game randomly. Damn, they had triple swap. So that's one. And they scoop here, but they didn't get to see what I was actually going to do, which is Caius myself and then pass with another Wabaku set and then do it again. Because I already know you don't have a Gekki break. So they opened a very awkward hand. Oh, Super Poly was in their hand. Okay. So I was playing around Gores, and they actually fucking had Gores, like since the beginning. So right here, I don't know if they realized that they could have dropped Gores on the burn damage. Like they could have just dropped Gores there. Um, yeah, take the Caius. Let me do my Junk Synchron thing. They go Crow. Which I'm fine with. Then they're forced to drop Gores here. They realize I'm going to play around it. So like... Wait, they have Super Poly here. What could they have done? Super Poly, discard Vanity's Fiend. Take my Swap Frog, their guy. Attack. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't... Now, if they had set Super Poly here, if they had it set, which I think they should have had it set, if they had Super Poly set right here, and I make this guy against this, and you can Super Poly these two for Gaia, and like half Swap Frog, and then my turn is over, actually. So I would have been ruined, and they still have Miracle Fusion too. Yeah, this would have been really bad for me. That also gives them a second hero monster. So they can Miracle Fusion for Absolute Zero as well, because this would be in the graveyard. Um, 
and Gaia will be on the field. So like, then you have, then you don't have to worry about top decking because eventually I think they top deck Stratos, but they don't have it right now. So I would have had this super, this super probably being set would have been crazy because you don't have Treeborn access. So you, you having back row here doesn't hurt you, right? Like you're not hurt by having a trap or spell or trap in the back row. You don't have Treeborn. So I think that this card in your hand is just kind of rotting. Yeah, and Ryzen here hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Because you're already, like, kind of down bad. Yeah. Yeah, and because I don't have heroes in my deck, Super Poly is way less effective. So I'm not even sure if you need to side deck this in this particular type of matchup. Like, if you don't see heroes, then... I don't know if it's safe to side Super Poly there. Uh, probably wouldn't because you can't Super Poly their entire field. You need your field always if I'm not playing heroes. So it makes the card way worse. So yeah, that's kind of like my my takeaways, my analysis of uh, this match. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was really fun. I love playing frogs, of course, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.